Hi, so how do you delete a file in Windows? This seems to be a very easy question to answer. We just go to Explorer and use uh, Shift Delete, not Delete, because that will not actually delete the file, but rather send it to the recycle bin. We can use Shift Delete and delete the file. Of course, there are many other ways, but what is actually happening behind the scenes? Let's see if we can find out. So first, we have the various tools we can use to delete files. We can use the del command from a command window, we can use the remove item, PowerShell command, we can use explore, we can use some other tool perhaps. But what is happening behind the scenes? So maybe they're calling some Windows API, which makes a lot of sense. What can we call here? So one option is the function delete file, which seems to be very straightforward and kind of to the point. Give me a pa file path and I will delete it. Simple enough and that definitely works. Then there are some other more elaborate options like SH file operation, which is a shell API that provides more flexibility. You can delete the entire directories, even if they have files within them and some other operations it knows how to do. In reality, there are only two ways to delete a file in Windows, in fact. One way is to open the file with the file flag delete on close flag you need to specify whether you're using the create file Windows API or some native API like NT open file, it doesn't matter, to provide this flag and then once the file is closed, the file object is closed, you call the close handle API, the file is gone, it's being deleted. You also need to make sure you open the file for delete access, otherwise this won't work. So that's the first way. And the second way, once the file has already been opened or you're doing stuff to it and you'd like to delete it, you can call the function set file information by handle, for instance, which is part of the Windows API. It has a bunch of options. One of them is file disposition information or info or the extended version, which basically allows you to delete the file. Just you need to specify a boolean there that says, I would like to delete the file. And the file will be deleted once all the handles to the file are closed. Behind the scenes, if you're familiar with the uh, kernel drivers, then the RPMJS set information is in fact the, uh, the kind of commands being sent to the appropriate driver, like the file system driver. So let's see what some of the tools do. How, how do you know what Dell does? What do you know? How do you know what delete file does? Let's try to find out. So I have a bunch of files here, in fact, two files I created just so we can have uh, something to work with. We'd like to delete these files. So I want to uh, first go with the del command from a command window. Just do del and delete the file. I want to see what is happening. How is this file being deleted? So how can we know? Well, we need some tool to help us out here. I'm going to use process monitor here or procmon, which is a great tool from sysinternals that many of you are probably familiar with. And it can provide information about all sorts of things, especially file system stuff, which you can see already is being uh, poured uh, down on us here. Let me first uh, stop here the, uh, the, the actual uh, logging. We don't really want to start just yet. We want to configure a filter and sometimes uh, it does get stuck when you have uh, lots of events coming at a rapid pace. And this is a typical thing on a typical system. Uh, so once we are able to get control of uh, Procmon, which hopefully would happen uh, very soon, we'll be able to delete all that and configure a filter because we want to focus on the specific files of interest here. So we're going to stop the filtering, sorry, stop the running and clear everything and click the filter button here. So there's some bunch of uh, default filters which are good enough, we can use them. This uh, is something you see when you're not using the advanced output, which right now I'm not using. I'm going to go to path here and let's use the contains filter and have something like test1.txt. We'll try to delete this particular file, click add, and we have that filter in place. I'm going to click OK and then let the capture continue. So you can see we don't see anything interesting right now and that's because nothing is happening with the path with that particular name. We can also remove registry stuff if we want, like things that we don't really care about. But for now we can just go and do the deletion here. So let's go ahead and do, we have test1. Uh, I'm actually in the wrong directory, so that's the correct directory. So we have test1.txt. You can see that already we get something even before we actually uh, do anything because 
we have this auto completion so cmd is trying to figure out whether there's something that matches the few characters are just typed in you can see there is a create file here already happening uh, so it's a create or file object it's unclear how it's actually being created but we can double click or look at the details at the end so you can see that this one was created with the read uh, kind of access uh, it's only about reading stuff it's not about uh, doing anything uh, crazy like deleting a file there's no need to delete here's another read so there's several read operations here that are happening which is which is fine we we don't care about that but we do care what happens right now once we execute this del so here it goes and we get some information here and uh, the file is gone by the way so you can see it is uh, it is in fact deleted let's uh, stop the capture we don't really need any more uh, information here let's see what we have here so as we mentioned, there's two ways to delete a file. One of them by using the create file function and the other one is with file delete on close flag. And the other one is to open a file normally and then use set information um, file or uh, NT set file information file or whatever. It doesn't really matter what kind of specific API is being used behind the scenes. So obviously there's some stuff here um, and we can see there's a query open. So that's not that interesting. What we want is really to see how the create file actually uh, works. And you can see here with the information that the desired access is delete. You can see the options include file delete on close. And, uh, and that means that it's using the first way that I mentioned to delete the file by using the delete on close flag. That's the way process monitor gives us that information. So clearly the way this works with uh, with the del command from the command window is by using this option of creating a file, uh, creating a file object with that flag and simply closing the handle immediately. It's very easy to do. So let's go ahead now and clear that. Let's go to the filter again and uh, maybe use uh, something else like text2 because text1 doesn't exist anymore. So let me replace this filter and edit again. So now let's see what the delete file function does, for instance. So um, we can just write some simple piece of code to do that. So I'm going to just call delete file here. And delete file is the simplest that you can use. It just says, give me a file name. Okay, fine. So let's uh, make it the w main and add the usual argc and argv. And I've already created a simple project just to do that. So I'll just pass argv1 here and, and that's it. Let's in, in fact re return that value here, whatever. It doesn't really matter that much. So let's build that and see if, uh, if that works and what it actually does behind the scenes. So let's go back to the command window here. But this time, of course, let's uh, click uh, capture here to start capturing. I'm going to go to where my code is so that's dev youtube code we have the delete application here debug and this is delete so i'm going to go with that and pass in our file test2.txt and see what happens now so again we get some things happening with delete uh, with uh, test2 let's go to the uh, folder first we can see that in fact it is gone so the delete succeeded and in this case, let's see what happens. So here's create. Um, notice that the create here is happening with delete access, which of course is necessary. But as far as options are concerned, there is no option here for file delete on close, which means that in order to open, to actually delete the file, it has to use the other option. In fact, we can see it right here. It says set disposition information EX. It says uh, file uh, disposition delete. So we're basically seeing that using the other the other way the, the other option there you can also look at the call stack here see what is happening we are here in our application we're calling the delete file function the delete file function is calling anti set information uh, file which is the native api for setting some file properties one of which is file disposition information which is about deleting a file so you can see it gets to the kernel it's the same function because this is the native AP api the actual implementation behind the scenes that's the real kernel function and it calls some driver and that driver happens to be the filter manager the one that's doing the work here and uh, it's actually uh, making a call here to the driver provided by process monitor but this is what we technically can see here 
that we're doing this operation instead of opening a file with that flag. And then once the handle is closed, the file is being deleted. So as you can see, the implementation of delete file, at least on this version of Windows, is using the second option by using IRP MJ set information. By the way, if you want to see the more details there, like in a more advanced kind of way, you can, let me just uh, stop the capture here. We don't really need any more uh, information at this point. We can go to uh, event, sorry, filter does enable advanced output here. So it will uh, go over all the events because many of them are just not shown because of the filter. You can see the actual major function codes behind the scenes. So we have IRP MJ create, which is invoked when creating a file object. And we have IRP MJ close and closing it. And IRP MJ set information is the one that's being used behind the scenes to set that particular flag for a deletion, the file disposition information, that information class, in fact. So that's all very clear and we can uh, use uh, this tool, this process monitor tool, to see exactly what is happening when files are being deleted by whatever tool or other uh, application you care for. So if you want to take that example further and maybe see if you can figure out what is happening with other APIs, you can go with SH file operation, for, inst for instance, or maybe remove item from PowerShell, see what that is doing behind the scenes. So there you have it. There are two ways to delete a file in Windows. One of them is opening a file handle with create on with delete on close, and the other one is to set information regarding disposition, kind of disposing of the file. Enjoy file deletions. They're sometimes fun.